History has selected us for a decisive role in the drama which will determine whether freedom itself will endure. The threat to freedom comes from a philosophy which treats freedom with contempt, a philosophy backed up by military might. It has expressed its determination to see the entire world enslaved under the banner of communism. Thus, a position of leadership is forced on us, for we are the strongest and most productive nation on earth. If we do not stand up against the ambitions of the communist powers, then no other nation or coalition of nations will be strong enough to withstand them. For almost a full generation, Americans have lived in the shadow of an historic challenge. Primarily, this challenge has been and is military in nature. To maintain a position of strength formidable enough to deter aggressive communism from attempting to expand its empire by force of arms. This challenge continues and will so long as the threat remains. But with the success of this deterrence, a challenge of another kind arises. The challenge of blocking the forces of communism as it endeavors to expand in the arena of peaceful competition, just as we are prepared to defeat them on the field of battle. We recognize the challenge, and we have indicated our response to it. The United States has nothing to fear from peaceful competition. We welcome it, and we will win it.